Hi, if you use Silhouette Studio Designer Edition for Windows, I'm going to show you how you can pull vector content off the web and go straight into Silhouette Studio without having to trace. So for this example, I'm using an online template maker from ideogram.nl. It lets you make gift boxes, card boxes, and envelopes. You simply type in your dimensions and click Create, and it generates a PDF for you. Now, I need to verify that this is vector content because this only works with vector content, not bitmap. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to zoom in. And when I've zoomed way in and look at a diagonal line, it's one of the best places to look. If you don't see any pixelation or blurriness, if you see a nice crisp line, you can be pretty certain you've got a vector. And that means that our procedure will work. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push the print button. Now I have already installed a PDF print driver called PDF Creator. You may already have one. You may have Bullzip or Cute PDF or something from Adobe, but PDF Creator is special because it allows us to, to print to SVG. So I'm going to select that from my printer menu, and I'll have the links to download that uh, on my blog. It's free, it's open source, and you can have it, as many of these as you want installed. And then I'm going to click Print. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my document name, which I'm going to say 222 box because that's a 2x2x2 two by two by two box. And then I'm going to click Save. It's going to default to my desktop, which is fine. It also de defaults to saving this as a PDF, but I don't want to save it as a PDF. Move this up here where you can see it. If I go all the way down at the bottom, I'm going to click SVG. And now this is going to save this as an F F SVG. So now I go into Silhouette Studio. And I'm going to do a file merge. Look on my desktop. I'm going to have to set this to SVG. I could have also set it to all files so that I can find that file. 222 box, click OK, and nothing happened. So I'm going to press Control A because I have a suspicion that it's there and it's invisible. And sure enough, I see that bounding box. So what I think has happened is that these lines are not colored. So I'm going to click the line color, click black, and sure enough, there is my template. Now, the next thing I want to check is that the line thickness is zero because that's important in Silhouette Studio to not get double lines. So I'm going to change my line thickness to zero and then I want to turn on the cut lines and there you have it. Now the problem with this is that the score lines are solid and if I wanted to um, cut them in a separate pass or cut them as dotted lines. I have to ungroup this. You'll see I'm clicking it numerous times until I get a bounding box. Then I can change these. I could take all the score lines, select them, and change them to dotted, for instance. Or I could group them so that they save in a different pass so that I could do one pass in a high pressure um, to cut and one pass in a low pressure to score. But um, the key thing here is that the work is all done. There's no tracing. There's no double line problems. There's no um, messy issues with the dotted lines. And uh, you've got nice crisp cut lines all automatically. So I uh, hope you'll enjoy using this. You'll see a list on my blog of other websites that will generate this type of content for you. And um, now you've got a shortcut for getting into Silhouette Studio Designer Edition only. Thanks for watching.